Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And you know what? It's time for some eggnog, brandied eggnog. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. It's December, it's the festive season, and my brain turns towards eggnog. I really like eggnogs. You can do a lot with them, either the store-bought or the stuff that you make on your own. And today's no different. We're making a brandied eggnog, which is good because every time I think eggnogs, I think booze. I don't take drink my eggnog straight. So the first thing you need is a mixing glass. The next thing, grab your jigger of choice and then a little bit of simple syrup. Now I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar. You kind of warm it up till it goes nice and clear and away you go. And we need a quarter of an ounce or 7.5 milliliters. Very nice. The next thing we need is a bigger jigger. Why? Because, well, I'm not using a half an ounce of uh, brandy here. I'm using an ounce and a half of St. Remy's VSOP brandy. Now, half an ounce, sorry, an ounce and a half is 45 mils. And, oh, that smells so good, but it's brandy. It never smells bad, unless it's bad, I guess, but I've never seen a bad brandy, have you? The next thing we need is a little bit of tawny port. Now, I'm using a Graham's 10-year-old tawny port. I absolutely love this stuff. We're using a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Da -da -da. And we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna get this out of the way because I don't need this little one. And I'm going to put my egg in now. For this, you need a glass. We're gonna crack this and put this in here because what we need is the yolk. We don't need the whites for this. And there we go, absolutely gorgeous. Put that there. And you can save this for later because you can use some egg white omelets and all that other good stuff. Clean your hands off, clean this up because I spilt a little bit, very nice. And we need a little bit of heavy cream. Now for this, I'm using a uh, Nielsen heavy cream. This is 35% fat, and we don't need a lot of this. What we'll need is three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half milliliters. Nice, not bad, not bad at all. Put this over here someplace. And you grab your Canadian milk. Yes, in Canada, we have milk in bags. I know it's sophistry, but whatever. It's pretty awesome, actually. For this, we need three and a half ounces, which works out to 105 milliliters. Yeah, look at that. Nice, tidy, it smells great. So what you're gonna do, grab the bigger part of your shaker tin, and we're gonna throw some ice in here. And we're going to shake this hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Maybe a little bit longer. We're not dilating, diluting it too much. We want to get it good and frothy and cold. Smack it open with the strength of a thousand festive seasons. Oh yeah, it smells absolutely wonderful. Grab your glass of choice. In my case, I'm using a fancy little rocks glass, but you can use whatever you want. Use a tumbler, use something fancy, use a mug of some kind. Look at that. Just like it looks store-bought. Holy cow, you'd think you actually, I actually got this directly out of the store, it is so Consistent and creamy looking. Anyways, we're going to garnish this. Grab your nutmeg. I consider nutmeg very much like a bartender's cocaine. Any cocktail that you put it on almost always turns out wonderful. Um, and I don't recommend cocaine use because, you know, I just don't.
Oh yeah. Nice, simple, tidy. Smells great. The first thing you smell, of course, is your nutmeg. There's something about fresh nutmeg. It's creamy. It's nicely balanced. It's just sweet enough. You get hints of the brandy in the port, a little bit of a creamy mouthfeel. Oh, and that color, look at that. Oh yeah. Mmm. I should think about putting some ice cream in this. Oh yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks. And you have a great day. And you need is your mixing glass. This one is glass. It is very pretty. I hope you all know that. The first thing we'll grab is a quarter of an ounce, which works out to 15 mils, 